The anime begins with the main character, Satoru. Satoru is a mangaka who has no success with his mangas. That's why he still works at the delivery service. While riding his bicycle, he sees a blue butterfly. This butterfly is a warning for Satoru that something bad is about to happen. He realized that the event had not happened yet, which is why he then rescued the little boy. However, during the rescue operation, he himself went to the hospital. In the hospital, there were Kali Gary waiting for him. This prophecy he himself calls will run. When he arrived back home, his mother visited him. His mother said she would stay with him for now to take care of him. Satoru took a little break to think about the deceased classmates who were kidnapped and killed when he went to school. He also thought about Yoki, who was a friend of Satoru's at the time. He is also said to have murdered the children at that time. When Satoru and his mother went shopping, Satoru got another rerun. Desperate, he tried to figure out what was wrong. Satoru noticed a child abduction, but before they could catch the perpetrator, he got into the car without the child. The mother quickly took a picture of the license plate. They went home to have dinner with Eri then. Eighteen years ago, little Kao died, and the mother of Satoru now realized who must be the culprit. But before she could tell Satoru, she was stabbed to death in the house. When Satoru came home, he ran past the perpetrator, but since he didn't see the crime, he didn't know who did it. He only sees his mother bleeding to death on the floor. The police comes and thinks Satoru is the culprit. Suddenly he gets a rerun and is back in the fifth grade. On February 15th, he was sitting in the classroom. He was also totally confused. When he got home, he was even more excited to see his mother who was still alive. He decided to save not only his mother, but also Kao's life. In order to do that, he has to make friends with Kao. But Kao gives him a rebuff because she doesn't want to believe him. In class, Satoru meets Kenya. Kenya quickly notices that something is wrong with Satoru. Kenya tries to help him with Kao anyway. He shows him Kao's essay, where she subliminally portrays a cry for help. In the evening, Satoru sees Kao standing all alone in the playground. He goes to her to find out why she is doing this, but she would not tell him. Finally, Satoru invited her to his birthday party. After that, Kao also went home. In a few days, Kao should be missing there. To that it was said that at that time the corpse was found nearby. The next day Satoru went to the teacher's room to find out Kao's date of birth. But suddenly a teacher caught him. However, this teacher supported his plan. He was surprised about the date of birth because it was the same day as his own. When he was out walking, he met Yoki, who was convicted of the crime at the time. Shortly after, Satoru went to Kao's house. There he found himself beaten up in the shed. It was clear to Satoru that it had been her mother, but Kao herself denied it, because otherwise she would have received even more beatings. The next day Kao was late for school. Almost all the marks had disappeared, but only almost all. Satoru went to the teacher's room right after to talk to his class teacher about it. The latter knows about Kao. Only the mother always manages to escape from the youth welfare office. Accordingly, his hands are tied. Kao is also bullied by her classmates. In addition, a classmate thinks that Kao would steal lunch money. But Satoru did not believe that, so he stands up for her. In the evening, Satoru showed her a beautiful tree. Translated with Ao Deepo Kum Trans Latter Free Version, this made Kao incredibly happy. The next morning, he asks his mother if he can go to the museum with Kao. The mother thinks this is a good idea. At school, Satoru asks her if she wants to go to the museum. She just said she would have to ask her mother. Kao's mother was against it, but Satoru's mother persuades her. 
Arriving at the museum, Satoru again gets a lot of flashbacks because he had already experienced this moment. But in contrast to that time, his friends also came to the museum. This has already changed the future. The next day Kao should die. So he got up extra early to pick up Kao from home. The whole day Satoru accompanies her. Satoru even waited until 12 o'clock to be on the safe side. He did it. He has saved Kao. The next day he celebrates Kao's birthday together with his friends. Satoru gives Kao gloves, since her mother wouldn't buy her any. Kao also gives Satoru a scarf. She promised him that she would come to school the next day. But the next day, Kao did not come to school. Satoru ran straight to Kao's house. Her mother had beaten her up and then she disappeared. Satoru went to the teacher's room to report it, but the teacher already knew about it. He went back to Kao's mother's house, where he found Kao's gloves in the trash, and suddenly he was an adult again. Satoru had to run away quickly because the police were looking for him. Eri, a colleague at work, found him and rescued him. Satoru found out that Kao died 18 years ago anyway, but the date of death has changed. The boss of the two wants to blow the whistle on them, but Eri prevented that. A little later, Eri's house exploded because the real killer wants to prevent her from helping. But Satoru and the boss saved her. Satoru called a friend of his mother to solve the murder of Kao. When Satoru hid again in the evening, he was arrested by the police. But suddenly he is back in the museum as a fifth grader. This time, Satoru wanted to do things differently. He got Kenyu on board with him, so that he provided his friend Joki an alibi. After that he brought Kao in an abandoned bus. By doing this, he made it so that Kao was still alive the next day. Kao also managed to finish the birthday present for Satoru. After that, Kao was also allowed to spend the night at Satoru's house. The next evening, they bring Kao back home. At the front door, Kao's mother tried to hit Satoru's mother. But this was also noticed by the youth welfare office. Kao's mother only said that she would not give Kao up and would call the police. But suddenly Kao's grandma showed up. The grandma felt guilty for everything. But luckily Kao was then allowed to leave with her grandma, which then saved her. Now Satoru decides to save the other children as well. In the later course he went chopping with his mother and suddenly the class teacher appeared. The latter took the two with him. Satoru opened the glove compartment of the car, where suddenly a lot of sweets came out. The teacher said that since he had stopped smoking, he was now addicted to sweets. Over the next few days, he became friends with Aya and Hirami. These are the children who had disappeared at that time. They also succeeded in helping him, which meant they were no longer alone. But Satoru learns that Masato has always been alone lately. He chased her in the gym to prevent a possible kidnapping. Masato disappeared to the restroom and Satoru chased her. Suddenly he met the teacher who told him that she had already disappeared from the restroom. Satoru discovers a van outside, which gives him the feeling that she is inside. Together with the teacher, he chased the van. Suddenly Satoru discovers a laxative in the glove compartment. This the class teacher has used to introduce it Masato. Translated with Ao Deepal Kum Trans Ladder Free Version, he explained to him that everything was planned to capture Satoru. To that, he tells him that he is puzzled about how he could prevent all the kidnappings. Then, to take revenge on Satoru, he took Satoru to the river to sink him there. But all of a sudden he sees different images and he woke up in a hospital. There he was in a coma for 15 years. During the coma, his mother took care of him for years. He has forgotten everything that happened at that time. He gets a visit from his friends, whereupon he notices that all of them have grown up in the meantime. He continues to try to get fit again with fitness exercises. 
Suddenly Kayo visited him with a child in her arms. But he didn't care. He just wanted to get fit again. In the later course, even the teacher visits him. But he had no intention of doing anything to him anymore. A few hours later, Satoru remembered everything from back then and revealed that the teacher was the murderer. When Satoru was in the hallway with his wheelchair, he met the teacher. The teacher took his wheelchair to take him to the roof. There he tried to frame Satoru for murder, in which he injected poison into a girl who was being operated on and planted Satoru's fingerprints. But Satoru wanted to foil the plan by jumping off the roof. The teacher didn't like that, so he caught him. Satoru told him that he was dependent on him, so he couldn't kill him. Shortly after, the teacher dropped Satoru. But it was all planned. There was a pillow under him where he landed on. All of a sudden the police showed up and arrested the teacher. In the end, Satoru recovered and he made it to a successful mangaka. Translated with Audipo Kum Translator Free Version,